All right, we're here at a farmer's market, uh, actually at the end of a farmer's market, and I want to show you guys something really cool. This is my friend Ming here. He is the head roaster and also co-owner of Moonway Coffee Roasters, Bay Area uh, coffee business shop, roastery. They do a lot of cool stuff like this, and we kind of just want to go over uh, some bits about Moonwake as well as this uh, farmer's market setup and, and there's a lot going on here so definitely want Ming to walk us through that. Yeah looking forward to it. Um, so hi again I'm Ming. Uh, my wife and I own Moonweight Coffee Roasters. Um, we're a fairly small and very recent coffee roaster that's starting up in San Jose and uh, yeah we, we went to this farmer's market we were looking for a way to you know get our coffee out to the people in the Bay Area and have them try it so uh, Cupertino, luckily, we're looking for a coffee vendor and we were able to slot right in for this year. Um, so yeah, we rapidly tried to build something that we could have a little pop-up for and can actually service like your typical, you know, coffee offerings. Um, and this is what we ended up with. Uh, so yeah, I can walk you through it if you want. Yeah, and you guys might have seen this before because of the Chillaxer also uh, a creation yes. from Ming, but uh, today it's cold, it's in December, so you know we don't have the, the chillaxer, but we can walk you through all of this, so let's go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so starting with our cart, um, uh, we do a lot of like home projects for fun, so this is actually a, a steel frame and wooden um, topped uh, coffee cart that we built from scratch. Um, so. One of the big things we wanted to do was make sure we had something that we felt represented our brand that wasn't too cookie cutter. We wanted a nice elevated bar to show off the coffees and be able to give them you know, samples to smell uh, and then keep our work surface sunken in and nice and clean. Um, so yeah, we built this. It's a nice you know, small cart that rolls and we have a little trailer that it all rolls up in after the end of the day and it rolls down to set up quickly. You did all the woodwork yourself? Yeah, yeah, we did all the woodworking. This is sugar maple. Um, the frame is like just tube steel, so it's very light. All the panels clip on and clip off, so we can bring it indoors for small pop-up events. And then, yeah, this is the heart of our operation. We started with a, a GS3. Um, we, we needed something that was, you know, looked apart, but also two people could use throughout the day. We weren't expecting a crazy volume, but GS3 seemed like a good fit. And actually, huge shout out to Brian and thanks for letting us borrow his U over there because uh, we were actually overheating the motor on the GS3. Um, so we've been struggling with that and having that second machine, the U, has been a, a really fun comparison point but has been critical to keeping us alive. Um, so yeah, now we have a two espresso machines set up. We're, um, we're grinding off of one Fiorenzato in the middle. Um, pretty basic uh, necessities are all taken care of, so we have Two water tanks below. Um, one is our RO water that we use, um, that we mineralize specifically for Spro. And then uh, another is just wash water, and that's pumped to the pitcher rinses on each either side, as well as the, the hand wash sink. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we usually have two or three people operating this bar, so it, it gets pretty tight and cozy, but we have one person you know, pulling two Spros and then two people steaming usually. Um, and we kind of started with this as our basic setup for the farmer's market. And uh, yeah, it's just naturally, organically kind of grown to take up more and more uh, <laughs> stages. Yeah. Um, you're but offering more drinks and you guys are also doing a lot of seasonal beverages as well, right? So you have all the different, uh, you know, the equipment and, and all of that uh, to support making those beverages. Yeah, absolutely. And we wanted to start to bring, uh, I don't know, different unique coffees that maybe some of the traditional coffee drinkers might not have tried before, try to, you know, give them some like glimpse into what some of the other processing methods and regions are doing right now. Um, so we wanted, we really wanted to offer pour over and that's kind of like the start to this whole back section. Um, so we're roasting quite a few um, Wilton Benitas coffees right now. And uh, it's definitely a, an eye-opening contrast if you're just used to traditional coffee. And we thought, you know, a pour over would be a really nice way to introduce that and make sure we're giving people a, a very fair representation <laughs> of that coffee. This farmer's market actually forced us to use a uh, 
a generator because there's no you know plugs and that's another thing that we've started to grow into um, if we use a generator that's gas powered we would have to be at the end and so now yeah if you see the wires snaking into the van we're actually also powering this whole setup with um, three battery banks four inverters a big bundle of solar panels on top of the the van and uh yeah it's kind of fun to look back and see how much has gone into uh -huh. this setup but uh it's just grown piece by piece over yeah. time and then these are just husky carts oh highly recommended they're usually on sale if you catch a deal um very efficient storage for all of your needs uh and i think i'm i don't know i'm a i'm a husky tool cart fanboy really <laughs> solid work surfaces really cheap super easy to roll on and off so this is kind of our pour over station we batch heat up in the morning our pour over water which has a slightly different recipe um, and then yeah this is the heart of our operation we're usually using either april brewers or uh, hario switches um, for the wilton coffees we're still experimenting and trying to get the the best extraction possible and the best flavor <laughs> profile but yeah we're currently using april brewers for that and uh this is our ek which is the heart of our operations um titus carrier with ssp cast burrs um this is what we do all our cupping with and yeah kind of a, a good blend of clarity and and sweetness and roundness to um most brews so we're, we're trying to use that to highlight the wilton coffees right now and yeah this, uh, again, another Husky tool cart, also on sale. <laughs> um, and yeah, this houses all of our pour over equipment. So all of the coffee, single dose, uh, the morning of, all the filters. Um, and this is exclusively powered from one battery bank as well. Is the, yeah, the EK definitely is very power hungry when it starts up. Yeah, and then it all goes into your yeah, so, setup back here. Yeah. I don't, it's a little bit of a work in progress. This, but, yeah. It's a little bit of a work in progress, but you can see multiple battery banks there, multiple inverters. We're kind of, uh, it's not fully polished because they're kind of growing organically as quickly as we can to support <laughs> this, um, but it works, it does the job. Yeah. yeah, and then when you guys are done, right, all of this could just fit back in here? Or, or... Uh, yeah, so if you can see back there, there's a, a trailer. Oh, yeah. So yeah, the three, the Husky tool carts, as well as the main uh, espresso cart, all just roll up at the end of the day, get strapped down, and then, yeah, we can can go home and um, clean it all up for next week. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But, yeah, this is, uh, this is like a really elaborate setup for <laughs> a farmer target, but it's also, you know, set up in a way that you can uh, serve almost any type of beverage, right? You, you have it set up, so it's like you can, Depending on season, you can bring out certain things. You have the the right power for all of that, so it's it's really well done. Yeah, yeah. We can't serve as much variety, um, but we can definitely hit all the major categories and serve it to the level of quality of any cafe. Um, so yeah, we're super proud of that, and we're still trying to make it you know better every time we come here. So yeah, it's yeah, been fun. Cool. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks, Ming, for uh, showing this off, and uh, yeah, check out Moon Lake. I'll put put it all in the description, but. Yeah, we'll have a bunch of videos with these guys. Like, there's a lot of stuff, you know, you, you just got your Q grader now for a bit now, and we have a lot of cool coffees uh, as well. And um, yeah, this is, this is just a really cool setup, and I wanted to show this off to you guys. Yeah, right. thanks again. Cool. All right, see you guys later. <laughs>